And our next bout is for the World Boxing Association Asia South Super Middleweight Championship. Please welcome out of the blue corner, opposite Suang Wong. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, please welcome Stefan Funjo. If everyone in attendance would please stand for the national anthems of Thailand and Cameroon. This 10-round affair is for the vacant World Boxing Association Asia South Super Middleweight title. Fighting out of the blue corner, hailing from Thailand with a professional record of 12 wins, three losses, and one draw. This is Apisit Sung Mwang. And fighting out of the red corner, 
hailing from Cameroon with a professional record of 10 wins, one loss, and no draws. This is Stefan Lacroissant Fonjo! <laughs> Judges ringside, Promasi Chasha Rokhsta, Arkham Wanasit, and Carlos Costa. Referee in charge, Prinit Prayatsap. Okay, here we go. So this is our co-main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, for the WBA Asian South South Asian Super Middleweight title over four over ten rounds in the 76 kilo division. So we've got Cameroon taking on Thailand, Apisit versus Stefan. So Apisit is actually actually trains at the infamous Siramon Court Gym in Patamtani. He's been hitting pads with David Tree, who's an excellent coach and had a lot of experience training Thai fighters in Thailand. Even the great Siramon Kong, who's Apisit resides at his gym. Apisit apparently has a lot of potential to be a very good fighter, but he's splitting his time between training and studying. So can't dedicate all of his time to being a professional fighter at the moment. He's definitely the smaller of the two for this weight class. Stefan looks like he's got a bit of a height advantage and definitely very muscular and in shape for the weight. Good jab down the middle from Stefan. Both these two in the orthodox stance. Stefan slipping well, double jab and then right hand down the middle from Stefan. Double jab from Apisit, but he's get, he got caught by a check left hook on his way in. Jab from Stefan. Another jab from Apisit. Jab to the body from Stefan. Jab from Apisit as well. So it's been a battle of the jab so far in round number one. Both of them trying to gauge the distance and try and start up, set up their combinations with a jab. Good shot to the body though from Apisit. That definitely hit home and caught Stefan's attention for sure and everyone in the stadium as well. Jab again from Stefan. Apposite doing well, so go to the bo go to the head, go to the body, and go to the head. Jab from Stefan. Kind of leading his jab out there a bit too lazy though. Wants to be careful. Doesn't want Apposite to read that and then parry it and land his own counter shot. Stefan still staying light on his feet, catching Apposite with a right uppercut. And attacking the body with a left uppercut as well. Staying light on his feet, Stefan dancing forward towards Apisit. Jab to the body from Apisit. Eating a left hook for his troubles too. 10 seconds to go in the round. Jab to the body from Stefan. And there you go, end of round number one. Here we go, round number two, guys. So, Apisit in the blue corner with the gold trunks and the white trim. 
and Stefan Fonjo in the red corner with the red gloves and the pink shorts with the silver trim. So I'm not sure who won round number one. Pretty split between the two of them. Depends what you like more, whether you, you like the jab from Stefan or the work rate of Apposite. So don't forget, Stefan's teammate in our previous round won by first round knockout in his matchup. Good right hook to the body there from Stefan. And Aposit is stuck on the ropes now, just motioning to his left. Jabs to the head, jabs to the body from Aposit to get out of trouble. It's head movement from Stefan. Quick jab from him too. Stefan's still trying to feint as well, feint his way in, trying to get Aposit to react so that he can land a clubbing counter shot. Good right hand down the middle there from Aposit. It's way better from the TIE fighter. But Stefan fires back with his own right hand, right to the head of Apisit. Jab down the middle from Stefan. Jab and then right to the body from Apisit. Left hook misses the mark for Stefan and misses the right hand as well. Hasn't been. Good clubbing overhand right though, right hook from Apposite, left hook two. Sorry from Stefan. <laughs> Stefan's corner telling him to double up the jab and then go to the body. Right hand lands down the middle for Stefan. Left hook to the body as well. Check left hook to the body. Need to see more head body head combinations from Apposite. So much success of those in the first round. And as soon as he came into range there, Stefan doing really well to counter him and move out the way. Missing there with the right hand. Apposite very wise to slip out the way of Stefan's attacks. Faint there from Stefan. Stefan's corner shouting him to throw the one-two. Right hand lands there for Stefan. Stefan stalking Apposite. Apposite trying to land a combination to get land around. Good right hand there for Stefan. And he's putting the pressure on Apposite. Too little, too late. That's going to be the end of round number two. Frustrated Stefan going back to the corner. So, a bit of a better round for Stefan in the red corner, who landed the more accurate strikes. And Abbasit couldn't really get into his own little rhythm. Had great success in the first round, as I said, during the round with head-body-head -head combinations. We didn't see a lot of that at all. And it was near towards the end of the round, really, where Stefan won the round for me in my eyes. On my unofficial scorecard, that is some consecutive right hands to the head of Apposit. Let's see if Apposit can regroup in between rounds and actually his own game plan in round number three, which is coming up right now. <laughs> Jab straight away from Stefan to start round number three. Light on his feet, Stefan, opposite, poised and waiting for him. Right hand straight down the middle again, and again from Stefan, putting his foot down now, but opposite firing back. Happy to st stand and trade with his opponent sitting down on his punches. Oh, right hand to Kinezzi again for Stefan. And again for Stefan. He's been in very precise with that right hand in, in this round so far. Jab from Stefan. Jab to the body from him as well.
Jab again from Apposite. Good combination there from Abbasit. Stefan missing with the right hook and trying to duck under. Trying to anticipate duck under a counter from Abbasit. This is a very hotly contested matchup, folks. Stefan's corner getting frustrated with him and asking him to go forward. He's trying to tell him to stop waiting for the shots and keep going. Good left hook there lands for Stefan. <laughs> left hook hits the gloves from opposite. They had a good set out well with those punches to the body. Swinging and missing here from Stefan. Opposite landing a jab and getting out the way. Uppercut there from Stefan. A right hand down the middle too. Stefan's corner shouting him to land the double jab. He's, you can just see the experience between these two. They're both very calculated and just trying to make sure they don't make a mistake because they know if they make one little mistake, that's going to be it. Especially at this weight. Good flurry there from opposite that connects and lands on Stefan. Stefan's corner shouting him to throw a one two hook. Jabs the body from Stefan. Right hand misses for him. Really has been making miss, making pay. Good attack here from Apposit going to the body. And then left hook lands for Apposit as well. And that's going to end round number three. So another frustrating round for Stefan. Apposit really doing a good job to be a slippery customer for the Cameroonian fighter. Stefan tried to stalk his man down. Did put the pressure on him quite a bit with the right hands, but it was really the head body head combinations from Apposite working the body. Okay, here we go. Coming into round number four now. <laughs> Stefan's corner firing up for round number four. Corner from Stefan chaining him to use his distance and use the feints to try and catch opposite off guard. Good uppercut there from Apposite, pushing Stefan back. It really just goes to show, it's all about, sometimes it's just all about tactics, not about being big and strong and having a hard punch, but sometimes you can just be the matador against the ball, which is exactly what Apposite is doing, using the ring as his best friend, just trying to find the space and cut the angle and try and take the energy away from Stefan, because every time he misses, he's using up his energy. Jab down the middle from Stefan. Swing and a miss again from Stefan. See, that's exactly what Apposite wants. He wants him to tie, he wants him to keep missing. Jab down the middle from Stefan. Swinging again with the left hook. He needs to set it up. And his corner is getting really frustrated with him now. And I've got to agree with him. You've got to land your straight punches first. Straight right lands for. Stefan though, better from the Cameroonian fighter. Opposite, slipping and sliding away, tucking and waving away from Stefan's shots. Stefan landing the jab to the body and to the head. Right hand connects though for Opposite. Jab from Opposite, left hook lands for Stefan. Good jab, a right hand there from Opposite. It's got to be the best combination he's landed in this round so far. 
jab from Stefan. Stefan's corner getting really frustrated with him so far. He's not, he's not putting his combinations together very well. Jab and right hand to the body from Appetit. Jab from Stefan connects. But is it enough? For me, Appetit is winning this round to uppercut to the head and to the body. Head, left hook to the head there from Appetit and ducking under the left hook from Stefan. Good right hand down the middle from Appetit, but he's getting clocked here by Stefan, who landed two right hands in a row and another. Appetit needs to be careful right now, needs to cover up. He's getting out of trouble, and there you go, he's down from the right hand. And is he going to be able to get up? It just goes to show it, only takes one shot. And we've got 10 seconds to go. Is Appetit going to be able to survive the round? Here comes Stefan. Swinging hard and fast, trying to put Appasit away. And there you go, saved by the bell. I've got to say, what a shame. Appasit really was putting his combinations together so well, but it just goes to show, you know, he takes one shot to turn the fate of a fight in your favor. And that's exactly what Stefan Fonju from Cameroon did clubbing right hand that put Aposit down to the canvas. And he's really got a steep hill to climb now. If anything, that's got to increase the confidence of Stefan Fondo from Cameroon. Aposit. Sang Wang from the Suriman Kong gym really needs to get on his bike now and put his combinations together and trying to outbox and outmaneuver Stefan von Drew in round number five. Jab now down the middle, good left hook to the body. Right hand connects now for, well, swing and a miss with the right hand from Apisit. Double jab from Stefan. Jab again, right hand, a left hook hits for Stefan. Right hand again from Stefan down the middle. Clubbing left hook from Stefan. Been very consecutive with that left hook so far in this round. Left hook to the body, Stefan's Growing in confidence now, going in, moving in and out, being able to find his range. Double jab, it hit, hits the mark for Stefan and jabs to the body. Apposite needs to go back to head, body, head. Start making Stefan miss and make him pay. Be that matador against the ball. Left hook again from Stefan. And he's just pushing Apposite back now. Big right uppercut, left hook from Stefan. And he's trying to faint him here. Faint him there. Oh, there's that right hand and Aposit is down for another time. Second time so far in this match. Referee's at six. Is he gonna make it? Looks like he is. Can Abisit survive another round against the towering Stefan Fonjo from Cameroon? His teammate, Jean Junior, won his title earlier by knockout. Can Stefan follow in his teammate's footsteps? Looks like he's going to. Swinging left hook there from Stefan, hits the mark. And he's ducking under, pushing his, fight, pushing his opponent away. And Stefan's corner getting frustrated with him, telling him to faint, faint it in, try and line up another knockdown. Stefan really wants to land another hard, devastating left hook. 
Good right uppercut and left hook there and he's down for a third time and that's it, referee calls it off. He gets the stoppage here, Stefan Fonjo in round number five. Again, following in his footsteps of his teammate, Jean Junior Messi Alim, by winning the WBA Asia South Super Middleweight title in round number five against Abbasit Samoan. A valiant effort from Abbasit, who was the smaller of the two for this weight class and really did try and use a good boxing grip brain early on, but he just got caught, unfortunately. That's just the way she rode, that's just the way she rode, folks. So we will have Mr. Teddy Mulgave for the official decision. Coming your way, don't go anywhere because our main event is going to be contested for the WBC Asian Bridger weight title for over 10 rounds between Pakistan and Thailand. See you in the next fight.